this is Logan Murphy and today we'll be logging in and logging out using JSP. So while you guys weren't looking, I was working on this login page that just has an email and a password and for the JSP it basically does everything that our sign up page did for validation. You see here we validate email, validate password, if there is no error then we'll get a connection. If we got the connection then we'll s select a user. Uh, this is a function we're going to work on later. Um, this uh, function returns a user ID just like our uh, insert user uh, function did and if that ID is negative one that means that, or it's not negative one that is, um, that means that we successfully found a user and we should set the session to say that we have logged in otherwise there's an invalid email or password um, if we didn't connect then there's a login error and we're unable to connect to the database please try again later we close our connection as always and we basically just copy pasted uh, to sign up that JSP and just changed uh, reduced the number of validations and uh, um, table rows and inputs uh, so what we're going to do is write these write this function so I put this function in MySQL uh, the MySQL class and we start out with this ID as negative one meaning that we haven't found a user at the very end we return negative we return the ID if it ends up being overwritten so what we have to do is get a prepared statement call it PS whatever you want to call it and get that from the connection and we have to select a user ID from user where user email equals question and uh, user password equals question and we'll do ps dot set string string we'll set the first string to be email set string to be the password and then we will get a result set from this prepared statement and it will be execute query and if rs.next that means that we found something we will set the ID to be rs. Uh, get long one um, we could also put a string in here user ID if we wanted to um, so we have the user ID now so rs.close we should close everything we've opened ps.close format it save it come back here uh, I should wait till it posts try it now so we can look at our MySQL database and see who we can log in as so I'll log in as this okay so we come to this screen that has a logout uh, anchor which is exactly what is supposed to happen um, so this logout will take us to the logout screen so let's write a um, let's create a new web page JSP and we'll call it logout.jsp and this is basically just going to be a logic page uh, well that just the uh, JSP happens and no one can really like look at this page so to log out session dot invalidate response dot send redirect index dot JSP so session dot invalidate will just basically delete our session meaning that the person will be logged out and response dot send, redir send redirect will make them go to the page specified here so we'll save it and now when we click account it comes to this logout page 
So we're gonna click log out. And it took us to the index as you see. Um, except we wanna go to um, account.jsp. So now we click account and it's this to allow us to log in because we are logged out. Okay, so that's how you log in and log out using JSP. I'm Logan Murphy and I will see you next time.